Do you celebrate Christmas? I do celebrate Christmas, yes. What's Christmas like for you? It's family. It's another opportunity just to spend time with my family. I think all holidays, well, not all holidays, but um, even with, like Thanksgiving, I think that Thanksgiving is a very like contro controversial, can't say that word, controversial holiday for, for a lot of people. For me, um, I can understand why it could be, but it's just another opportunity to get together with your family. You know, everyone travels for the holidays and from, from everywhere, you know. You see family that you haven't seen in a long time, you eat good, food always brings people together. So I think Christmas is the same. It's just an opportunity to create memories with my family. You celebrate it uh, in your city or you travel elsewhere? I went back home to Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. That's where my grandparents are. That's where my aunt is. That's where my cousins are. So, yeah, I went to Durham, North Carolina. Anything ever crazy happened out of the norm in a past Christmas maybe that you experienced or no? Hmm. Something out of the norm? Yeah. I can't believe this happened to me on... I don't know, Christmas Eve or Christmas? I wouldn't say happened to, nothing crazy like happened to me that I can remember. I'll probably remember it later and be like, darn, I wish I would have said that. But I guess something I can think of now was my uncle's girlfriend. Wait, was it my uncle's girlfriend? I think either my uncle or his girlfriend gave each other like a nasty gift for some reason. And they opened it up in front of everybody and my grandparents were there, so it was kind of awkward. <laughs> But nothing that I can remember that happened to me. But I guess that was kind of funny. Like, all right, guys. What were those gifts exactly? It was so long ago. I think it was like some handcuffs, <laughs> which isn't like super crazy. But like, you know, when your mom, like when your grandparents are there, you're kind of just like, all right. I think it was some underwear, like some lingerie. So that was kind of funny. You know, everyone laughed. No one got like upset or anything. It was just kind of like, all right. So, yeah. I guess you, that would be my crazy Christmas moment. Do you have a favorite Christmas memory? Something that happened on a past Christmas? I don't, not that I can think of. I don't have a favorite Christmas memory, but favorite Christmas memory. I don't have a favorite Christmas memory. Not I guess yet. just being around my family is always dope because we're, we're always doing our own thing. Like I'm here, my brother's there, my mom's there. so. I guess just being able to come together. Best Christmas present you've ever received so far? These are some really good questions. <laughs> um, Christmas gift, best Christmas yeah, uh, gift. Yeah, and think about even when you were younger. I mean, this could apply to anything. Best Christmas gift you ever received so far? That I can think of? Sure. And I'm just going to say my memory is really bad. But one time my mommy got me this really big life-size dollhouse that everyone loved. So when my friends came over, we would, like, none of them had this dollhouse. Like, it wasn't like a regular small doll. The dollhouse was, like, this big. Like, it was huge, and it was, like, this wide. And I just thought that my mommy really just outdid herself with that one, especially for my age. I just thought it was great. Uh, you were surprised when you got it, or that was something on your wish list? No, I don't even think... I don't even think I had a wish list because I think I knew Santa wasn't real for a long time. So I don't think I had a wish list. It was just a surprise that I really liked. And I had it in my room for years. Like, so when all my friends would come over, it was just a thing that I had this huge dollhouse in my room that most people, I guess, don't really have. How and when did you find out Santa wasn't real? I don't remember exactly when, but I know I was super young. Um, I'm the youngest. I have two older brothers. So... I guess they found out, obviously, before I did, so I always get the information sooner. So I don't know how old I was, but I'm pretty sure my brothers told me, and I was like, what? <laughs> but then another thing, too, is like, you know, I grew up in church, so, you know, um, I guess they're quick to let you know, like, yes, Santa isn't real, but Jesus is. <laughs> mm. I see. Um, you don't have any kids yourself. I have three. Yes. You have three kids? I have three kids, oh. and I actually have one on the way. Oh, yeah. okay. I did not know that. I'm totally just playing. I have no <laughs> kids. I do want to have five kids one day, but as of now, I have no kids. Music is first, so uh, I want to give my music career a solid, like, I don't want to have kids until, like, ten more years. Yeah. No kids for now. So just curious, if you do have kids, what your policy would be on Santa Claus? Um... I will, I guess, 
let them or tell them that Santa is real just for the first couple years because I think the idea is fun um, to think that if you're good, you know, it's a spoiler like when you find out it's not real, but I think it's just fun for kids to, to kind of like believe, be able to believe in that stuff and be able to believe like, I guess in the magic of if I do good all year, if I'm a good girl or a good boy, that I could just write this list and hopefully Santa brings something. So, you know, I don't I don't mind letting them think that. Of course, I will eventually let them know like, hey, mom's buying this. So be grateful. But uh, in the beginning, I don't mind them having that fantasy. I think it's kind of cool for kids. On the opposite end of the spectrum, what's the worst Christmas present you ever received so far? I don't think I got any bad gifts. I don't remember if someone giving me like a terrible gift for Christmas. I don't have any like crazy exes or anything, so yeah. Ever received coal? Coal? Yeah. Like a bag of black stuff? Yeah, like if you've been bad, you know they say you get like a piece of coal or something. Oh, I've never heard of that. No, I've never got coal. Mm -mm, never. Like people, like I guess a kid, like just how you said, if you're good, you get something that you want, but if you're bad, you get like a box of coal. That's Like funny. you open the gift and it's it's a coal. It means you were a bad kid. I've never got that, but now that I know that's like a thing, I might give someone else some coal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, what what's your policy on this? Uh, regifting. You ever receive a gift and then dish it off to somebody else? Yes, I'm guilty of it. Um, if they don't know and you don't want the gift, you know what, actually, you're doing the person who bought you the gift a favor because realistically, you don't want to waste their money. So it's like, I'm really doing both of us a favor because I personally don't want it. I actually just did that recently. Um, but yeah, so why not be able to make someone else happy, save myself some money, and save your money because realistically, if I was to just like throw it away, then that would be even more hurtful. So yeah, that's my policy. You can tell, well, not, not important things, not like jury, you know what I'm saying, like that, it's special, but like little stuff, like a shirt or some pajamas or something, you can regift that. Well, you mean as long as you don't, you haven't worn it, right? Sure. Okay, yeah. If you worn it, then you can't regift it. I'm sure some people have broken that though. Okay, so no, see, that's, that's different. You can't do that. But if it's totally new and you don't want to waste it, and I'm big on like not wasting stuff, then yeah, you can regift it. It's like you're recycling. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, obviously when it's this, uh, time of the year, Christmas music, Christmas movies, that's a big thing for some people. When it comes to Christmas music, let's start with that. Favorite Christmas song of all time? Okay, so that I can think of is automatically the Mariah Carey one and the one that Chris, the rendition that Chris Brown did on, is it this Christmas that yeah. he was in? Okay, so his version, because his vocals was killing, and you know, that's when he used to do a whole bunch of runs and stuff, and he had so much control, and he kind of had a baby voice too, so that one, and then the Mariah Carey one, but I can't think of the Mariah Carey one. Is it all I want for Christmas? Or? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you ever released a Christmas theme song? Or done a, a Christmas cover yet? Or? I've done a cover. I did a cover like two years ago, and it was this Christmas. It was the one, the Chris Brown version. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how was the feedback on that? I don't know. Where's my phone? It was good, I think. I posted it like two years on Instagram, so now I might go back and look at the comments. I, I'm pretty sure it was good, though. I usually get good feedback from people. I have a pretty good um, support system, so I'm pretty sure it did good. Have you ever released, uh, have you ever used the Christmas date uh, for a music release, like a, a song release or mm -mm. a, a full-length project? No, never. I've thought about doing that for a family member's birthday, but not Christmas. Uh, and when you did that cover, how, how long before Christmas did you release it? Did you... I think I dropped it like the day before, Christ probably Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. Yeah, somewhere around that. Now, what about as far as Christmas movies? Do you have a favorite Christmas movie of all time? Hmm. You, okay, I'm really bad with names, but you know that Christmas movie where the little boy, he's really, I think it's actually filmed in New York. It's a little boy, and he's like getting in trouble, and there's two grown men chasing him for some money. I think he was like a foster kid or something Home like alone? that. Home Alone? Exactly. <laughs> he wasn't a foster kid. He okay. was just a kid in a big family. Oh, okay, so he wasn't a foster kid. I take that back. But yeah, that was a really good movie. Because he okay, just now, kept winning. Now, it, it, the New York one, I believe that's Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. 
Okay, maybe that. So you're you're totally calling me out. Um, <laughs> so if that's the, that if that's the Home Alone you remember, then that's Home Alone too. Okay, that's it. That's the, the original one. Home Alone. He was Home Alone in his own house, in Chicago, I think. Okay, I'm talking about the one where the two guys were chasing him and like he set up all these traps with like the paint and like yeah. they just kept Home getting Alone hurt. Home Alone lost in New York. Okay, that's that's a go-to. Have you ever seen the original? I haven't, but now I'm going to go home and watch it. <laughs> yeah, I like the first one better. I don't know. Um, have you ever had to work on Christmas? Of course, yeah. Like a regular job? Yeah, I mean... Or I, music, we're talking. No, no. I've been like a server. Like when I was in North Carolina, I was a server at like a, um, I guess, a retirement, a retirement home. And yeah, we always had to work all the holidays. But you know, you get off early. You get off at like four. So mm. you get still get to go home and eat and whatever. But usually, you know, the, the night before uh, Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. people will do something that night or they wait till the morning. Do you miss that stuff by having that job you did or you were able to do the morning stuff and then go to work? Well, by that time, I guess I was kind of already like high school, college. So I didn't really care too much about like, oh, my God, it's 1201. Oh, I have to open okay. presents. Um, yeah, I didn't really care about, about like, oh, I can open presents now, you know. Oh. So it wasn't really a big thing then, but definitely when I was younger. Like, if I would have had to do something that would have kept me from opening presents right at 12 o'clock, that would have been a, that would have been an issue. But as I got older, no, I was fine with it. And yeah. we usually waited anyway. We kind of waited, like, for everyone to come over. So it wasn't like right at 12, you open it. You know, we wait for, like, my grandparents to come over the next day or something my cousins to come over the next day. Have you uh, been booked for a gig music-wise for Christmas or performed? On Not, and it could be Christmas Eve, Christmas night, mm -hmm. day after. I haven't been, been booked this year yet, but in the past, yes, I've, I've been booked for some Christmas stuff. In Atlanta, actually, yeah, here. Do you remember, was it Christmas Eve? Was it, was no, it was just like the week of Christmas. Oh, okay. It was like a celebration thing, but it wasn't the day of Christmas. I'm pretty sure in the future I will be booked the day of Christmas, which I won't mind. <laughs>